Hey guys, to learn, today we're going to learn how to uh, declare variables in Java and print them, okay, using the system.out.print uh, method. And uh, well, here we have a package, right? This is something that I created when I just here click on that and say package and I give it a name. Usually the package starts with uh, the name of the company, com.techgreatness. And now that we have the package, inside the package, we can create a class. So here we come, it says new, and then we say class. Okay. In the class, we're going to make it public. And then the class is going to have a method uh, called main, which is the one that runs the program. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to call it, call it um, Java variables. Okay. Then I'm going to click finish and then it's gonna uh, just um, generate a class for me with the name that we chose and the method that we selected okay I'm gonna delete this comment I don't need this and then inside this method I'm gonna write uh, my program and then that's gonna be run when I click on this button here the play button okay so the way you declare variables, let, let's declare uh, an integer, okay? We have to start with a type, right? The type is going to be integer. But in this case, in Java, we say int, right? We're going to give it a number, a name. The name is going to be a number. And then we're going to just put the number 10, okay? So we are assigning number 10 to this variable number. So whenever we refer to this variable, we're not referring to number, we're referring to number 10, right? So if I say now system dot out dot print and then I print number, guess what's gonna be display? Is it gonna print number? No, it's not. It's gonna print 10. Okay, so if I just click this button here, and then I say okay, and then I'm gonna get the number 10 here. Okay, so that's the way you declare an integer. Let's. But what if you have, what if you want to display a text? So as text is a string, right? That's the type for text. And then I'm gonna call it a text. So I'm gonna say this is a number, right? I'm gonna put a column with a space, and then at the end I'm gonna put this. Okay. So every time you write a line in a line of code in Java, it has to end with a semicolon. That's a rule. If you put the semicolon, you're gonna have an error. Whenever you have this red line here under this uh, text here, then um, you're gonna have, then that means you have an error. So colors and signs are very important. This means that this, this variable hasn't been used yet. So the color yellow it means a warning okay color red it means that something is wrong see here okay so as soon as i use this system that print and then i say text you see the yellow line disappeared because the variable is already used now if i print here's I'm going to have one line next to the other, right? But this is not what I want, right? I can use this, instead of using print, which prints next to the line, I can print, I can just put ln, which what it does is break the line and, and whatever comes after is printed in the next line. So if I just click on that, now I have two different lines, right? But I want to have this is going to look more beautiful if I do this, right? And if I say text, right? This is a number, right? This is a number. Remember, when you use variables, you're not printing text. You're printing whatever is inside the variable. In this case, it's, this is a number, right? Now, I'm going to leave this. Uh, I'm going to put now, and then I put the number, the variable number, right? So if I just click here, it's going to print, this is a number, number 10, right? But remember, I didn't put 
ln here. So that's why we have this, everything in the same line. But if I do this now, right? If I do, then I have, this is a number, 10, right? So this is a good thing. This is beautiful the way it looks, right? Now, what if I want to declare um, a decimal, for example? I have to use the type double, right? That's another type, which is float. But in this case, we're going to use double with a score symbol for now. And then let's call it this, deck, right? And let's say, let's say 4.6, right? Now, if I say... Let's put ln here to put in a different line, right? And let's say this system dot system dot l dot print, and we say this these are two numbers, right? Right? And then we say now space we say plus and we say number right and then we say deck which is this variable here let's see what happens now you see 10 and then we have this but we should leave a space between these two guys okay what we have to do is just put uh, this uh, the plus symbol just put a, uh, an empty string an empty string an empty text just put here a comma leave a space and then when we print, right, we're going to have this 10 comma 4.6. We could have said this, okay, very simple, right? We could have said this, sorry, right? And then that works too, okay, 10 and 4.6, right? Don't forget that double is for decimals, integers are for whole numbers. If I do this, I get an error, right? Because an integer is a complete number. However, if I use this here, it's still accepted because double covers both integers and decimals, okay? So this will still print something, right? But this, and you know, it turns it into a decimal, right? You can put an integer, here a complete number but it turns it into a decimal 4.0 okay let's leave it the way it was before okay so i think it was this okay and then we have this okay so guys this is the way you declare a variable in java and this is the way you print it okay i hope you liked it practice 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 and don't forget to, to subscribe Thank you. See you in the next video.